Hey guys, Daniel from Team Creepers here. We are with the lovely Alvin Fung, who just won the Gamers World Winner Box today. So, Alvin, uh, what deck did you play? Uh, Mina Mano. Mina Mano. <laughs> Featuring so, Draco. What drove you to pick this deck? Uh, Draco is great at drawing cards, and Mina Mano is great at stopping every deck. Okay, well, shall we just get into the list and you sure. can explain your uh, interesting choices. <laughs> uh, sure. So it was five rounds today? Five rounds, I uh, went XO. Most games were 2-0, and I lost every single dice roll. Nice. <laughs> because mine and mine were doing second. Um, so Draco Monsters, one of each. Um, so Draco in this is just a draw engine. I, these are to deal damage, I guess, but Monsters just brick because demise. <laughs> um, okay. So it's just better to just have them minimal. Um, I never really felt like I needed more. People aren't really playing called by either, so when they're engraved, they don't really hit them. Um, so yeah, three was kind of enough. Uh, triple mano as part of the two card combo. Uh, I just need three. Need to see it as much as possible. Unfortunately, I have no way to search it. So, uh, and it's just six card monster count. Okay. Don't need any more. Uh, as I said, demise. You just want to have minimal monsters. Um, Two Disciples, two Heritage. I was playing three Disciples at some stage. Uh, you don't need to recycle as much. Um, I mean, it is harder, but because I'm already conscious I have two, I am being more careful anyway. Mm -hmm. um, and most of the time, you are just searching for Disciples first to then draw more off Heritage and then get Disciples later to recycle everything again. And you just need a constant recycle of Disciples. Um, it is a bit tougher, but honestly, it's just a draw engine. Once you get a mana mine up, you don't care about anything else anymore. Mm -hmm. Like, how long does the game generally last once you have the mine and the mana set up? It can actually go on for ages, because mine just lets the, the game go on for another 10 turns or so. Right. Um, and you just keep drawing, but the second I get to 7 cards, um, that's when I just go all out, either build a board or attack for game, because yeah. I just have a lot, of, a lot more resources than my opponent. So yeah. That's generally how it goes. Makes sense. Um, triple duality and triple demise. Um, controversial, I don't like Desires, so, and because this deck isn't Draco and I'm relying on getting a mana mine, I can't banish anything, um, yeah. and also because it's a mine deck, it needs all its pieces to recur and just be able to grind properly, so I'm just playing maximal consistency with these. Uh, I was playing Upstart at some point, but I can't fit in the one Upstart, so I'd, and I'd rather just play the third duality. Right. Um, and then I'm playing three Diagram. Uh, three mine, and then one terraforming, one set rotation. So yeah. set rotation is actually pretty good with this. Most of the time you can just give them the mine and just for another way into diagram. Um, but otherwise you can just add the mine, give them a diagram, and then normal mana, and then you just have your, your two card combo. Your OTK. So my FTK. <laughs> so, uh, and I think, yeah, it makes diagram and mine just more consistent having the set rotation, and you can clear field spells like Sanctuary or Area Zero, or whatever it is. Um, this is my backup to mine, Rin Chalice, so if I have a mano and no mine, at least I have Chalice, so I can keep a mano on board. Um, and also just like another good like damage step interaction so I can protect a mano as much as possible. Um, yeah. It is 19, so most decks can't get over it, but in the event that they manage to summon something that's 19 and then try crash, in a damage step I can just Chalice. Um, and then at that point they can't really proceed. It also lets you play true. Uh, Colossus, right? Yeah, it stops Colossus, stops Dingirsu, because, you know, Dingirsu is kind of hard to out with Draco, just everything is destruction, and that protects everything, and same with Colossus. So yeah, having this is quite good, because you don't open Imperm, you have this for, like, Dweller as well. Um, so you can, like, Imperm for, say, Chain, uh, chain Chalice sometimes, if you open Godly, but, you know. Mm -hmm. um, one Metaverse for the Mine, and occasionally the Diagram. Um, like, cute things, you can just pop this with Diagram. Um, yeah. Like chain to its effect, pop this, and then you can add another diagram. So it's quite versatile. Um, I did cut it for a while because before when I played this, I was playing three and it was a lot better at three. But you know, I don't think it's that bad at one still. Mm -hmm. and I still want to go sack, uh, go first. So you know, still quite good for setting up. Um, two storming. This is to protect a mano and purely to protect a mano. That's that's it. Most of the time, like I don't really care about blowing up boards. Um, I am playing strike as well for the big boards that have negates, uh, monster negates, so I, at least I can guarantee to clear, but most of the time this is just protecting mana, just some more interruption. And also not many people are 
thinking about um, battle traps at the moment, so I like to be weird that way. Uh -huh. um, two, there can be only one. Um, I never needed three because this deck draws so much that you don't need that many multiples, and you know sometimes you do see the multiples anyway. Um, I thought that everything that you're playing going first, you should be able to draw into, especially with a mana stopping most interaction. You can almost resolve all your draw spells, uh, so you don't need to maximize out on these going first things. You just need to maximize on the things for going second. Um, triple impermanence for going second, um, and just so I have some. Um, interaction when I lose the dice roll and have to go second. Um, I don't want my opponent building big boards and this is just something. Uh, and then for Colossus and Dingus or otherwise. Yeah. Um, and just a standard three apocalypse one return. Um, I was considering cutting return at some point, but having another trap is quite important because sometimes you can destroy two in one turn and just having the other name is quite important and then occasionally bringing stuff back. But most of the time it's just to get rid of with apocalypse. Apocalypse also just like MVP for protecting a mano, um, just having all the attacks of monsters, which people keep forgetting it's like permanent and you can activate the damage step. So you just clear stuff in the damage step and you protect a mano and their monster just crashes and dies, so yeah. it's pretty good. Yeah, Apocalypse a mano is like real annoying. Um, so extra deck. Extra deck. Somewhat relevant extra deck because I can make everything technically. Um, How often did you actually go into the extra today? When they destroyed a certain set card. Ah. Yes. Which was once. <laughs> once. Once. Uh, I mean, technically I can make everything. Technically everything has some reusability, I guess. Um, so one Phoenix. Uh, I don't think I've ever made it. Okay. Um, freeze on and to be paired with the Ice Queen in case I hit Waking the Dragons and I have to get over an ultimate uh, Falcon. Right. So this can get over by overlaying two level fives and overlaying this on top. Yeah. You should have um, Because I just want to not have to worry about the back row I hit. Yeah. Uh, one Durandal because I can make it and I guess I can force them to hit my Waking the Dragons. <laughs> sure. Um, Volcasaurus. Um, in the event I need to burn, some I came up once a few months ago and never again, but you know, uh -huh. it might come up. And then just overlay on top and piercing, whatever it is, I also never really make it. Yeah. Um, lightning and uh, Utopia because... A mano, a mano. A mano, a mano. Because it does come up sometimes when you're on your mind and they have like, if they have an ultimate falcon, I just can't get over it. A uh, mano does stay on the field of mine most of the time and I'll get two, so I'll just overlay them and clear any big monsters are unaffected by What world do you live in that everybody is summoning ultimate falcons against? In my world, I need to be prepared for my own medicine, so right. I think that's fair. Okay. Uh, and then I have my Waking the Dragons targets. Uh, ultimate Falcon, Last Warrior from Another Planet, Exterio. You make Ultimate Falcon the most, sometimes make Exterio, and yeah. then... Sometimes you make this, depending on their board state. Most of the time in Orcus, if they're just making a Phoenix first. Uh, well, actually, that was kind of last format, but still, if they make Phoenix first, just to clear some of your back row, and they hit Waking, you summon this, and then they're stuck. So, yeah. um, and they just can never get over it, really. It's so hard to get over it. Mm -hmm. And then I have um, Primaritech, Mega Fleet for Cyber Orcus. That's not really a thing, but I didn't really have anything else to keep in, so I just like kept it in. It's there. also just like if you're playing against Cyber Dragon player, you, you kill their best. Day. Yeah, if I'm playing against Cyber Dragon, why not? I'll force them to go first and just fuse into this. Um, and then I have my Super Poly targets. Um, this is pretty standard. Um, I've only made this in recent times. Sometimes I'd make this, uh, but most of the time I just don't see Super Poly, so. No, no care for Salmon Great? No, I think. With this deck, it kind of handles Salaman Grey already. Like, a Mando Mine is already too big for them to get over because they can't actually monster effects and the Mando's 1900 attack, so... Like, Sunlight Wolf isn't even enough. They need to have Will. Um, and most of the time, I have enough interruption to just destroy the Will before they activate it or destroy their monster. Mm -hmm. uh, or have their attack or have their force that doesn't destroy, so... You know. Um, yeah, and I'm, I wouldn't want to side in Super Poly against uh, Salaman Grey. I think my main deck should handle it most of the time. Sure. Um, They're a lot more fragile, like, than Orcus in terms of yeah, exactly. you can clear their board and then they can't do anything. Yeah, I'm more worried about big combo. They don't have Dengarsu either, which is... Yeah, yeah, they don't have real protection. <laughs> um, side deck, I have two Judgments. Um, I was playing it at three. I tried maining it, but I don't like it main because going second most of the time you might just die, so you don't, can't activate it anyway, if the world's board's already established them. Um, I was playing Iron Wall, but then 
shout out to Craig who just said play Judgment and I've just been testing it and it seems better. Um, it does depend on what matchup and what cards come up but yeah I'm happy with two uh, and again it's a going first card so I don't feel like I need it at three, I'll just draw into it going first. Yeah. Uh, I very rarely side in going second unless it's a control deck. Uh, triple Super Poly, you need to open it so you have to play three. It's such a blowout, um, I don't really want to play it, like I was considering playing a Rock Draco, but Super Poly is just such a blowout, it's so good. Um, That's definitely why I had not difficulty finding a Rock No, I actually have Triple Rock. I have like most scores, <laughs> most variants of things. Um, <laughs> yeah, Super Poly is just good, especially to get around um, EEV if they have two monsters as well. Because um, I was really considering at some point against like Luna Orcus that were having EEV sent off Curious and stuff. So. Yeah. This is just a good consideration. Um, sure. Mostly serves well, if I see it. Um, and also, yeah, most of the time you can just add something off um, one of the Draco monsters, so you have something to discard if you set it. So. Um, two Awakened Dragons. This is basically to replace the two Storming Mirror Forces, or two Strikes, whatever the matchup is. Um, they, they just have to hit your back row when you play Storming and Strike, because they can't, can't take the chance. Um, and if you reveal it game two, you can side it out game three if you want. Um, it's just nice blank cards, and in, if you don't see Judgment to stop them, you just have this to fall back on. And it either burns an Ash if you don't have a Mano, or you summon Ultimate Falcon, and most decks just fold. So. Yeah. Um, and you can always like stop the Borrow Sword before they attack and stuff like that. Um, so yeah. Or just Apocalypse Borrow Sword. Or, or Apocalypse Borrow Sword, which I've done twice today. <laughs> And then triple border, so this is to replace Mind Mano, going first, um, so the idea of this deck, you can go first or second with Mind Mano technically, yeah. if there's a big combo board you can normal a Mano, so no monster's gonna deal, and then you activate Mine, and then you let Mine stick, and then you return a Mano in the end phase, so they're under Mine, you set back row. Um, going first, you can do the same thing, and you have Chalice as well, but I don't want to rely on as many combo pieces, so going first, just normal border, and then I side out one to two Mine, depending on the matchup, and then... Um, like Judgment, Waking the Dragons, just so I have more back rows, so I sure. just have one card to rely on. Um, most of the time it's good. Um, like against all control decks, Bar Striker, it's good. Um, and Salad even, going second, you can decide in because it's 2k. And most of the time you can just clear their Sunlight Wolf twice to let this stick, and then they can't do anything after that. So. Sure. Um, I am playing two Dimensional Barrier. Um, this is originally for Luna Orcus. Um, so they make a lot of XCs, so just the second they get two XCs on board, you can just activate this and they have to just do um, Orcus and end on Crescendo Galatea, basically. Once they have two monsters, you do this, so they can't go into... They can't go into anything, yeah. yeah. Um, and then, otherwise, a lot of just random rogue against like Cyber Dragons that tried OTK, the second they activate Fusion Spell or like, invoked. Um, I went against Heroes today as well. Uh, he added three Fusion Spells to hand, and then on the first one I chained the barrier and he just passed turn, so... Nice. Um, this is a nice tech. Uh, probably will keep it in for the foreseeable future. Uh, against Thunder Dragon as well, going first is quite good. Um, the second you get one monster on board, you just debarrier them and then they have nothing for the next turn. Mm -hmm. uh, and then lastly is Triple Seer Mode. This is for any big combo deck, mostly just Pendulum. Um, Draco doesn't need a normal summon, so most of the time you'll find space for this. You just side out like there can be only ones, um, just so you can get rid of three interruptions. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that's, this is pretty standard, I think, for Draco. Um, I don't like Nibiru. This is like a, this can be your sixth card. Nibiru can. Um, yeah, and I already have a rock in deck, so I can't play another one. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, would you like to quickly just go through the mine Amano and Amano Chalice interactions for anybody sure. that's not familiar with them? It's it's a very complicated combo. It's just a weird combo, right? Yeah. So um, you'll activate Mystic Mine. Uh, and a normal mana. Okay. Uh, this is going first, so your opponent has no monsters on board. And whatever you do after this point, when you end turn, a mana can't activate because you have one monster and your opponent has zero. Therefore mm -hmm. he stays on the, on the field, and his effect is um, during the turn he's summoned, he returns to the hand. So the turn after, most of the time the opponent will just destroy the mine, and a mana will just stay forever, because once he's six, he's, he's stuck there. Yeah. Um, the other one is with Chalice, so without mine, um, in the end phase, when he attempts to return the hand, you just chain Chalice and Liaise effect. So yeah. then he stays on field, and then he's live again on your opponent's turn. Yeah. And then the other niche things with like Diagram, where you can just hit Chalice. Um, if you have the Chalice set, you yeah. can Diagram, um, chain Chalice. And or, I guess, one, Demise, you can just keep Chalice in hand, so you ensure that they can't Ash. So you keep this in hand with Demise, activate it, um, and then they can't Ash, so then you chain this. 
and then yeah. they negate your mana, so then they just still can't respond, and then you just set your back row and pass. Um, he'll still attempt to activate, which is a little scary, but Ogre isn't in the format, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> sure. Okay, well, congratulations. Any changes for the deck? Uh, the entire thing probably at some stage, but uh, we'll see. I've been playing this for over a year, so I know the deck a bit too much. So uh, I think we need some time apart. Very tragic. <laughs> well, you heard it here first, guys. Alvin Fung changing back to Cyber Dragons 2020. Nice. <laughs>